on CTV Sports. The college football, the Terps coming off a 50-21 win over Richmond in their opener. Welcome Bowling Green to College Park over the weekend. Up to Bird Stadium we go in the action this one. Maryland trying to go to 2-0. Bowling Green looking for win number one on the season. And here comes the Terps, Perry Hills with the fake right here, and it's going to keep it. He's going to get into Falcons territory and get the first down, and that would set up Lou Groza award winner. Brad Craddock on, and he hits the field goal, and Maryland grabs the early lead, three to nothing. Then it was defense. Yannick Ngahwe beating his man and sacking quarterback Matt Johnson on the play, and that would force a turnover. Later, again, third down now, it's Roman Braglio, and he stops the running back on the play. That would force a punt. Why are we showing you the punt? Well, you don't want to kick the ball to William Lightly. Last week, he took one back for a touchdown against Richmond. Here he gets a couple of good blocks right from the beginning, and he's going to break free right here, and he's taking it all the way back the other way for a score. Hunter has no chance, picks up another block right there, and Maryland looks to be in the driver's seat. But Bowling Green would turn it on in the second half. Their offense would get it going, and boy, would they. Matt Johnson finds Roger Lewis. He breaks a tackle, and he gets a first down. Then it's going to be Johnson finding tight end Derek Lee, and that's a touchdown on the shovel pass. Bowling Green comes from behind and beats Maryland, 48-27. The Terps host South Florida next Saturday at noon from Burroughs Stadium. Bowie State is off to a 2-0 start after defeating Brevard College on Saturday, 35-21. They are at Central Connecticut State. That's next Saturday at 7 o'clock. The high school football, a pair of teams coming off opening week wins, look to move to 2-0 as Duval hosted Northwestern. Let's get up to Landon for the highlights in this one. And this was going to be the Antoine Brooks show. Number two, the running back, played quarterback last year. Watch him break a tackle right here at the line of scrimmage, and he is gone. That's an 80-yard touchdown run, and the Tigers grab an early lead. Now, Northwestern on offense, and they have to deal with Brooks playing safety. Back to pass, he's going to step in front of this ball, and he's taking it the other way. Going to get the Tigers in great position for a score, and watch him lower the boom right here. Drops his head, bang, takes the opponent's helmet off. With that shot. Then they're going to throw to him out of the backfield. Comes in motion, catches the ball, going to break a tackle right here. Spin move, break another tackle, stays in bounds into the end zone for the touchdown. Duval cruises to victory, 29 to nothing. The Tigers are at Parkdale next Saturday at 2 o'clock, while Northwestern will host Eleanor Roosevelt also Saturday at 2 to baseball. The Bay Sox, after winning 11-3 on Friday night, look to close out Altoona in their best-of-five Eastern League playoff series. Let's get you out to Prince George's Stadium for the action in this one. We'll pick it up with Garibaz Rosa at the plate. That ball is gone and gone in a hurry. Solo shot. That makes the score. Three to nothing. Bay Sox. Then they would turn it over to defense and pitching. That's David Hess on the mound. Nice play by first baseman Trey Mancini to flip over to Hess. That's an out. And then Hess on cruise control. Spent most of the season in Frederick. Pitching well for double A. That's a strikeout looking. Bowie wins three to nothing. And they win the series three games to one. Now they move on to their first ever Eastern League Championship Series. They will take on the Reading Phillies. Game one is tomorrow night at 7 from Reading to Soccer. Earlier here on CTV News, we showed you the Maryland Men's Soccer Fan Club, the crew. Now back to Ludwig Field as Coach Sasha Swarovski and his Terps hosted Michigan in their Big Ten opener. And here we go, Maryland on the attack. And they're going to get the ball to Amar Sedgik. And he's going to put the shot on goal. But Michigan's goalie, being harassed by the crew, makes the save. More Maryland on offense. Again, Michigan has a failed clear. And Andrew Samuels is going to put the shot just wide of the goalkeeper. Michigan with a chance now. Nice cross coming right here, and it's going to get onto the head of Willa Miller's Blair, and he's just going to put this ball just over the crossbar for the Wolverines. Now a free kick by Miles Corbez. Cleared by Michigan, but not all the way. David Kavrilich is going to find DJ Reeves right here, and Reeves is going to kick it just wide. Game ends, and the scoreless draw, 0-0. Terps are right back at it again tonight as they host Navy at 7. From Ludwig Field, we go from college soccer to Major League Baseball. Orioles defeat the Royals 8-2. They host Boston tonight to begin a three-game set. Nationals beat the Marlins 5-0. They begin a three-game set with Philadelphia today. And in the NFL, the Ravens fall to the Broncos 19-13. They also lose defensive end Terrell Suggs for the year with a torn Achilles tendon. And that is your Monday sports page.